Yo, what's up, uh, weird idiots? What's up, my simps? What's up, coal miners? <coughs> I was thinking lately, what if it was 2012? Like, what if you guys, my audience, had a name? Well, now you do. I put up a poll on my Instagram the other day saying, what should my audience be called? We're gonna read one every video and uh, we'll pick the best one at the end. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this quarantine is hitting me pretty hard. At the time of this video, I've been in my apartment for 33 days. Uh, all my roommates went home, so it's just me. But it's not all bad, though. I, uh, I started talking to the grill, actually. Guess who's got some more meat for ya? Oh, fuck yes. Hey, you want this meat? Yeah, I want your fucking meat. Take this meat. Take this fucking steak. Mm! I beat off to some weird shit, man. But anyways, being stuck inside, I've had a lot more time to be on social media, mainly Snapchat. And constantly scrolling my feeds has put me in front of more and more posts that just piss me off. And I, I just gotta say something. If I don't vent here, I'm gonna be a dick to people, and I don't want to. You've probably seen at least a few of these. So uh, without further ado, here's another installment to the most annoying Snapchat user saga. First off, we got Mrs. Birthday over here. Now, it's her best friend's birthday, and the only way to show appreciation is not with a phone call or a nice text. No, she has to post 800 different snaps to make sure everyone knows how good of a friend she is. Happy birthday to my good friend Dylan, who I met long ago in swimming. You've never scared me. Now this one really fucking bothers me, but I'm no expert. So, I'm gonna bring in Dr. Heck to kind of uh, analyze this and give you a scientific insight into the situation. It's Dr. Heck, he's a genius. He can solve cancer, but he doesn't want to. Thank you, Cole. I am Dr. Heck. Now I want you to pay attention to the symptoms of birthday post disorder. And note, there are two different strains. The first strain, slightly less lethal, involves multiple birthday posts. Notice healthy levels start at one to five posts, with brain damage showing at six to ten. As nobody gives a fuck, the second strain is much more deadly. Notice one post containing one word. So to get the message, that should be contained in the first photo. One must skip through too many posts to count. This strain's fatality rate is 100%, for it causes irreversible brain damage. Thank you, Dr. Heck. Need I say more? Have you ever met someone in real life and been like, yo, is this a real person? Like something's a bit off and you can't quite put your finger on it, but then you add them on Snapchat, and all they post is this shit. Yeah, actually, you know what? He's good. He's fine. This is how you can tell somebody has fucking nothing going on in their life. And I think it's like amplified by, by TikTok, uh, making people think that being able to lip sync is a talent and that people want to see that shit. You can't do this anymore, Damon. Not in this town. Not around me. Why not? Nothing I haven't done before. Like, whoa, cool, dude. You know the words to the song, but you're not quite good enough to sing it. Like, who gives a shit? And it always seems to be rap. You know, like they're sitting in their car, parked at like their student living apartment, singing about... Go get a job, dude. Now we got Mr. Instagram. Mr. Mr. Postman. Yeah. If you will. Now, Mr. Instagram just posted a selfie, and he's not getting enough likes. I just posted another picture of myself for like the 10th time this week, and nobody's liked it yet. Obviously, they just haven't seen it. I, because who wouldn't like a picture of me? Who doesn't want to see me at this time of day? I am a god among men! Woo! What a dude who just posted an Instagram photo. Y'all gotta check this shit out. Go like my pic right now. You can really tell these people, like, 
need the likes. Because like, yeah, if no one sees the photo, then I get it. You want people to see the pic, by all means, put it up on your fucking story. But when they link the Instagram post and they're like begging for likes, you can tell exactly what they're after. Okay, hey, so it's come to my attention that some of you have not liked my recent Instagram post. I just want to make sure that you saw it. I want to make sure that you like me. Um, if you don't like the picture, then you don't like me, you know what I'm saying? And ladies, y'all aren't off the hook. I know y'all do it too. I just didn't want to pick on women for the whole video. No one liked my picture. What am I gonna do without all this attention? And then we have the salespeople. You know, like maybe they bought a bikini that didn't fit or, or their ex left a hoodie at their house and they're trying to sell it off. So the first post goes up. All right guys, I'm selling this authentic, ethically sourced, organic, barely used Supreme tea. Swipe up to buy. And the wait begins. You know, a day passes, no response, so they put it up again. Seriously guys, just making sure you saw the post. I'm selling a shirt. I know you want to buy it. I know you want it. Still nothing. You know, like the weeks go by. Come on, someone please buy my shit. If you get to this point, if you have to post it even more than twice, nobody wants to buy your shitty clothes. Take it to the fucking Salvation Army. Go to H&M. If you actually recycle clothes, they'll give you 15% off your next order. And you won't get info like that from other channels, right? I'm hooking you the fuck up. Show some respect. Next time it'll cost you. Three dollars, final offer. I'll take it. Is it real though? I found a dollar, so I'll up my offer to 350. Pee on it and I'll buy it. Ah oh, yes, the cry baby. You ever see someone post a snap like this? What's the fucking point? What's the message here? Now before someone screams, ah, toxic masculinity. Now hold on, I wanna make a disclaimer. Having breakdowns is fine. That shit's natural. I have a breakdown every time the grill breaks at my apartment. But I don't go parade that shit. I'm talking about the people that like take their breakdowns and put it up on Snapchat constantly. Like it's like a signature part of your personality that you have breakdowns. It always seems like people that are doing all right too. You know, like they've got like a good nuclear family you know, a decent job, they're going out to concerts, they're partying a lot, they got a lot of friends. You know, like, this person seems like they're doing all right. You know, just another one of my signature breakdowns. I'm a grown adult, but I can't conduct myself under any semblance of pressure, and everybody has to know about it. I'm so quirky when I cry, look, I'm sensitive. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? I can't pity you. You know, if I swipe up and say something, and I always get hit with the, no, it's okay, really, I'm fine. Obviously not fucking look at you, dude. Finally, we got the swipe up if you care about me, people. Now this shit has been around forever. Ever since Snapchat added stories, motherfuckers from Facebook figured out they could adapt the whole like, comment if we're cool post to it. I'm putting you on Reddit, by the way. And now that we actually have to all stay inside, I I'm realizing how many of you rely on your social interaction. I mean, me too. I miss the homies. But because of this, it seems like a lot of people lately have been posting the whole like, swipe up and type X if you care about me type thing. And then anyone who swipes up, they post a picture on their story and say, expected or unexpected. Look at me, look at all the people who care about me. I haven't seen my friends in three weeks, did they? Still care about me? I don't know if you're aware, but you look fucking stupid. Whoa, unexpected, you care about me? This person that has me added on Snapchat and watches my story gives a shit? And it's always people that like, they used to hang out with all the time, you know? Like, holy shit, your bro since seventh grade just swiped up on your story? He cares? What? I don't know, man. Like, maybe this shit's just me. Maybe you're just bored, and that's fine. Do whatever the fuck you want. I'm not your dad. I'm not your fucking role model. I think the lesson that I want to communicate here is don't take this uh, this pandemic going on, this, this stuff spreading. Don't make it about you. Don't put the focus on yourself. That's why you should be more like me. Which, by the way, you can find more examples of uh, by following my Instagram, Cole Perrin, or my Twitter account, Cole underscore Perrin. Yo, shit, it's fucking Nintendo, babe. Do you have anything to say for the, for the YouTube community? She says, stop demonetizing LGBT videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, take it easy, my, uh, my- Whoa! No way! What's up guys, it's your boy here, um, just got these new penis enlargement pills from my boy It's a Clown.
Ah, it's some good shit. Thanks, clown. <laughs>